Hi guys, and welcome to Hugh. I am so excited to play this game, like so excited. The game is based on colours. Um, there's a storyline to it, but it is based on colours, and as a designer myself, colours mean everything. Like, I am so happy that there's a game based around this. Now this game was created by Fiddlestick Games, and it was published by Curve Digital. Um, so I have some earlier access to it. It hasn't actually been released yet. It released in a couple of hours, maybe four or five hours from now of me recording. Um, and basically the base price of it will be um, $15 USD. Um, and that's basically, yeah, so figure that out in like your country. And yeah, so let's just jump right in. I am so excited. Alright, so this is us. I'm gonna name him here for now. I'm guessing that might be his name. He's not very colourful, but... Ooh! Dearest Hugh. I was right. Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum. A ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of colour. Okay. Some impossible colours. Impossible for Dr. Gray, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this colored plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the colored tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Okay. Oh, and now in bed? There's a thunderstorm. We have an adorable house. We have a really adorable house. Can we talk to you? No? This is our boat. The fisherman caught a glimpse of something. Something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. Is this the lighthouse? Yes. Oh, we can go in! Oh, so it's like blocked off by the colour. Okay. This is blue. Okay. Oh! So the world is now like aqua blue. We have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. This is cool! Can we interact with that? No. Ooh! Can I get up there? Hello, I want to get up there. Not yet. Ha! No, okay. So there's bikes, let's go in here. So it's like, I can't go here until I have like the magenta pink colour. Interesting. And I'm guessing I'm going to fill out that colour wheel. For those that aren't designers, I'm sure most people know what colour wheels are, so... We should be right. So let's head down this way, I guess. Good little buddy. Hello? Hugh, is that you? Thank goodness I've been trapped for days. Help me get out of here. I keep hearing noises, it's creeping me out. Okay. Oh! 
Oh, that's going to take some getting used to. The rocks, they... They just disappeared? I don't know how you did it. Who cares? I'm saved. Thank you. So, basically, whatever the colour of the background is, is the colour that we can get through. Oh, this game! So I guess we have to find all the colours. Is that going to hurt us? No. There you go. When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations. To pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. Interesting. The music in this is so pretty. Oh, hello there. You startled me. I'm just resting my legs. Don't play too close to the water now. Okay. Come on, Hugh, let's do this. Let's find Mum. Can you write it down? Woo! Oh, okay, cool. So we can interact with things. We need to go up here. And then drag this this way. So it's a bit of a puzzle platformer as well. Oh, okay. Um. Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Okay. Woo. Oh, there's a ladder up there. I don't know how to get there, though. Oh. No. Q, come on. Work with me, little buddy. Okay. Why? How do I? Okay, let's see how we turn this on and off. the grey shade yet. Um. Maybe we need to go in and then out again. I don't know. That's not going to work though, is it? Interesting. Okay, hold on. Yes. Controls. Color wheel. So, oh.
If I can't move while he's... Interesting. So I may just have to wait. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, we should go up here in the waterfall. That makes sense. So I'm not really sure how to get to that ladder yet. I can't reach it. Hmm. So I'm not really sure what these ladders have, but I'd love to get to be able to figure it out. But we messed that one up. I don't know if we can go back into it. Okay. Oh, okay. So going back that time worked. What's this? Okay, so I'm guessing that's what's up in that other area. I wonder if we can go back to these areas later on. I'm not sure how to undo the colour once I've got the colour. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, stressful. Oh, I didn't... okay. Mal body. Okay. Okay. Up. All right. Let's go back up to this ladder. Yay! Okay. I don't think, I don't know if he's friendly or she's friendly or not. I guess we'll find out. Purple! Yay! So we got violet, guys. Interesting. Can we go out now? So, there we go. Did you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum? It's the hardest colour for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. A colour beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colours. And I fear that this, this is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or, or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. Oh, okay. So our mum is in, like, is in a different colour that we can't see with our eyes. So, like, it's a colour outside our visible spectrum. Oh, okay. All 
right. Working them colors. sense okay mm-hmm yep you, you change the purple one you fall off the purple block okay then we go to blue and then mid jump ah oh, there we go okay this is gonna take some getting used to yeah look at us go Oh, okay. Oh, getting used to it, guys. Okay, drop down. Oh, okay. We go. This game is so cool. Oh hey, what's up? Okay, bye. Up the other side of the pyramid now. <gasps> Orange. Interesting. Like clockwork is the achievement. Clockwork orange! Alright. Change, go through here. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. Interesting. Well, guys, that's all we've got time for for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. I am loving this game so far. It is so good. So I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to head over to Steam and check this game out. I will leave a link in the description. I am absolutely loving it. It's amazing. Alright, thank you guys. Bye!